Good afternoon, hockey fans. Welcome into Today in the NA. I'm your host, Vinny Paraselli. Another great show in store for you today as the NHL season officially kicked off last night with Northeast and Danbury. We'll get to some highlights here in just a minute. The NHL showcase is less than a week away as all 29 NHL teams will be under one roof for four straight days. It will truly be the greatest show on ice. We'll dive into that as well later, but let's start the show with the latest NCAA commitment. Luke Leyland of the Minnesota Magicians has committed to the University of St. Thomas. He led the Magicians last season with 22 goals and 38 points in 48 games. He added a goal and 6 points in 10 postseason contests. We've got highlights from the season opening game between the Generals and the Junior Hattricks. First game of the season, opening minutes of the game, David Andrzejczyk drives to net, can't get it to go, the puck is sitting there loose, and Paul Minahan puts home the loose change, and Northeast has the first goal of the year, it's 1-0 Gens. A few minutes later, it's Jackson McCarthy coming down the wing, he throws to the net, and it apparently goes off the stick of the defenseman. McCarthy gets credit for it, and it's 2-0 Northeast. Second period, Danbury gets on the board as Mike Salandra nets his first NHL goal with a nice redirect in front, and the junior hat tricks are within one. Midway through the middle frame, Andrzejczyk wins a puck battle to Joe Schubert. He buries it for his first of the year. Generals go up 3-1, and that would be your final score in the season opening game. These two teams meet up again tonight for Game 2. We've got nine more games coming up this week, and the Gens and Hattricks, like we just said, wrap up their series tonight. Meanwhile, out East, we've got New Jersey and Maryland going head-to-head -head before the showcase. Both teams are coming off playoff seasons and hope to get back there again this year. Then we've got almost the entire Midwest division in action. The Junior Blues make their much-anticipated return to the NHL on Friday when they take on the Janesville Jets. The Jets begin their revenge tour as they look to bounce back after being upset in the first round of the 2021 Robertson Cup playoffs. Kenai River visits Chippewa for a date with the Steel. New Chippewa head coach Casey Mignoni goes after his first NHL win with a group that's ready to turn the page on last season and get to the playoffs of this year. Kenai River has plenty of experience as they want to prove last year wasn't a fluke and they want to get back to the postseason as well. Finally, we've got Fairbanks and the Minnesota Magicians. The Magicians swept the Ice Dogs in Fairbanks in the first round of last season's playoffs. We're sure that hasn't sat well with the Ice Dogs players over the offseason, so we expect a good effort from them. The Magicians got a taste of the Robertson Cup a few months ago and are eager to get back to Blaine for another chance at a championship. Like we stated, the NHL Showcase is less than a week away. All 29 teams will be under one roof for four straight days of wall-to-wall -wall hockey. If you need a hotel, if you need a rental car, if you want to know how much tickets cost, head on over to NHL.com showcase. We've got all the info you need right there. That is going to do it for us here this week on Today in the NA. We'll be back in two weeks as we're going to be off for the showcase. We're going to have plenty of highlights posted on our social media channels throughout the week, so make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all the above, and be sure to visit NHL.com for all the stats and live scores from the event. The showcase will be streamed live on Hockey TV, and we've got a great show prepared for you, so be sure to tune in. Until next time, though, this has been Today in the NA. I'm Vinny Pericelli. Hope to see you at the NHL Showcase.